today we are checking out the brand new Realme 10 value for money smartphone starting at like 230 bucks. That's right, for a brand new smartphone, which is still gonna have some features that you would be uh, looking for, that you might be interested in, including a, a 90 hertz display of 5,000 watt battery. <laughs> A 5,000 milliamp hour battery. Who the f is this guy? Who the f is this guy? Hmm? Huh? Why you bring me this guy? Huh? That's me being Robert De Niro. Where was I? And some 33 watt fast charging, I believe, which is kind of nice. MediaTek G99 chip, which is capable of playing PUBG up to 40 FPS, which apparently is actually quite an achievement in this particular price segment. I also got a 50 megapixel camera and it's available in a couple different colors, Rush Black and Clash White. Eight gigs of RAM, 256 storage on both of them. 50 megapixel AI camera, MediaTek Helio G99, 90 Hertz pricing, 229. That's for the four gig RAM, 64 gig storage. It goes all the way up to eight gigs RAM, 256 storage, which is the model I have in front of me here for around 299 US, so still affordable by today's smartphone standards. The other thing that apparently was a priority here was getting a very slim and lightweight phone. Apparently this is the slimmest device that they've ever done for the international market. Yes, it is very slim and light. Ooh. So it has a squared off sort of a boxy design, a pearlescent but glossy finish on the back, little 50 megapixel indicator, kind of a color changer effect with a bit of a gradient and a bit of a rainbow thing happening depending on the way that the light is hitting it. Definitely lightweight, that's what strikes you. I can already see a hole punch front facing camera which they've placed in the top corner. We have our power switch which I'm guessing is gonna double as our fingerprint scanner and then uh, volume is above there. SIM tray is going to be on the other side of the device. On the bottom we retain a dedicated headphone jack 3.5 mil as well as a type C for that Super VOOC 33 watt charging speaker unit is there as well. A Little bit of paperwork and a case to get you up and running. A pretty standard clear case but this one's a little bit smoke. Yes, you're going to get a North American charger for this international version. And as mentioned, this is 33 watt Super VOOC capable for the fast charge. Next up, this is the Rush Black variant. You guys are going to let me know down in the comments which is the preferred color. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Ooh, a little bit lighter down at the bottom moving into a darker blue and all the way up to an almost black at the top. I think I'm gonna have to go for the darker model here. If extremely lightweight, like a totally different experience holding this compared to some of the other devices I've held recently, particularly at this scale. This feels like you could hold this for a really long time. They're exactly the same, same background or wallpaper brightness max it out, turn off automatic, and let's go check out the refresh really quickly. And you can forget about the auto select, we're going high. Obviously not 120 here, but 90, you know, you, you, you take into consideration the price point, don't ya? you? Got this starting price of $229 for a new phone with a brand new battery and such, and you might be satisfied with that. 90 is obviously still better than having 60, as you can tell, you get this much more fluid motion and the device ends up feeling quite a bit snappier. Now let's go ahead as we normally would and show off our charge animation, especially when we're dealing with Super VOOC, because I get excited by strange things, including the fast recharge of my goods. Okay, here we go in three, two, one. Got space in the background. I got Super Vook 33 watt. Look at it go up in real time. You know I love it. Let's make sure the other one does the same thing. Man, that's a really cool subway station and a really cool wallpaper. Am I crazy? Like, look at that. There we go. Wham. Super Vook 33 watt. Real time, real time, real time. Ultra fast, it says right there. Ultra fast charging. So yeah, you even get a little bit of charge love starting at 229. And what type of love you're into? Into charge love. Talking about love. 
I am correct. It is here on the side. I never minded that. I'm not going to lie. In display is a little bit more science fiction fun, but this is where your thumb naturally sits and uh, it just kind of works, right? They also have face unlock. Okay, let's do it. There's my face. Bam. That's all it takes. That was fast. Check mark. And yeah, it was fast. It's too fast for you. You want me to do it again? Okay, watch. I'm going to delete my face. I'm going to add a face. Continue. Got me fast. Add a face. Continue. Woo! I can't even see myself in that amount of time. I'm I'm locked like this, facing up. Looking for a face, doesn't see it. What if, what if it gets a thumb? Okay, thumb's fine. Thumb is fast. So this finger's not enrolled, but the face is instantaneous. So it's a quick, it's a quick one and it's a versatility. And I, you know, I tend to like that. On devices, more than one way of doing something. That's what I like. Remember, you got to take everything through the lens of a 229. So that's 200% audio. To seem like now, it is only firing situation. out of so who cares? one location. It's obviously led to tremendous beef between uh, Zuck. A well, Apple and, and Facebook, Apple and Meta. Yeah, so listen, is. is there some things you want? You're like, hey, where's my stereo? And we're talking 229. And when you're talking 229, if you've been in this game long enough, you know you're going to have to pick and choose, right? That's the whole idea. There's some hand feel to it. I haven't seen one in a bit with the corner rather than symmetrical, but it kind of hides it up there. Yeah, you got a little bit more chin than you do around elsewhere. But overall, the package at that price point, not bad. Green plant at 1x, wham, we'll do some green plan at 2x, wham. Many megapixels, more than you need, obviously, that's even zooming in there. Main cam, Mo, are you picking, are you there? You know what I mean? Plant, actual plant versus captured plant. Pretty similar, like as far as color and stuff, they're not getting carried away with it, which I like. Of course, we can also bring in the world famous Unbox Therapy Edition Coca-Cola Classic. Looks like it. Ooh. We can deal, we can deal. And we check out the selfie capabilities. It's trying to make me beautiful, get out of here. Don't touch me. Okay. It's a wide selfie. I don't know if you've noticed this. Beard hairs are there. It's definitely not a billion megapixels. Actually, I was saying it was thin and light. More specifically, 7.95 millimeters. The slimmest offering Realme ever had for a global market. And 178 grams. Ultra lightweight body for comfortable grip during long gaming sessions. So they say it themselves. They say, go ahead and game. The front facing camera is 16 megapixels. I'm gonna try without HDR and see what happens. Yeah, I actually think this is preferable for me, like in terms of detail, worth considering. But that's the thing. I mean, you can toy around with it. Um, it has a street mode, street photography, focus distance to the left, focus distance plus to the right, zoom in and zoom out for street photography. And then I let go, I snap a photo for street photography. They have like this pro-ish video mode for ISO and white balance, dedicated record button. That's in the more section, but I'll just go back to the regular video mode. This is a 1080p video sample. And I suppose it's also an audio sample because you are listening to me speaking through the microphone of the smartphone of the new Realme 10. Let's see if it'll change focus to like my hand. It did. And then back to the plant. There you go. Now they've also got a night mode in here, as I mentioned earlier on. At the moment, I'm well lit. However, Mo is telling me that he is going to be inserting some of his own examples of the night mode capabilities as I'm speaking right now. And I presume it's going to be quite amazing. And you'll be ooing and aahing, not humming and hawing. 
Dr. Seuss moment. Let's make sure we get all the specs here before we wrap it up. It's a MediaTek Helio G99, plus eight gigs dynamic RAM, 256 storage up to one terabyte of external memory, 6.4 inch Super AMOLED display at 90 Hertz, thousand nits peak brightness Corning Gorilla Glass 5. It's only 178 grams, 5,000 milliamp hour battery and 33 watt Super VOOC charging, 50 megapixel primary camera, and of course, that side mounted fingerprint scanner available in two colors flash white rush black which has that bluish thing going on let me know in the comments which one you would select it's all starting around 230 bucks usd you can also let me know down in the comments if you think that's a good value if you want more information on these devices check the description i'll have the relevant links in there